Parshas Vayigash. This year is dedicated to the memory of Rachelaya Bas Reb Chaim Tzvi. I'd like to discuss Yaakov's journey from the land of Israel to the land of Egypt. From Eretz Canaan, from Eretz, was eventually going to be called Eretz Yisrael, to Eretz Mitzrayim. But specifically, I would like to focus on the vision he receives from God in Be'er Sheva on his journey out of the land of Israel. So turn to chapter 46, verse 1. And Israel and all that belonged to him traveled, and they came to Be'er Sheva. And he brought sacrifices to the God of his father Yitzchak. And God said to Israel, in the visions of the night, and he said, Yaakov, Yaakov, Jacob, Jacob, he named me, and he replied, Here I am. And he said, Anoki hakel elokei avicha. I am God, the God of your father. Al tiramerda mitzrayim, mitzrayma. Don't fear going down to Egypt. Kilagoy gadolas im chasham, because I will make you into a great nation there. Anoki eredim cha. I will go down with you, mitzrayma, to Egypt. Vanoki al cha, and I will bring you up. Gam alo. I will also go up, or I will surely bring you up. And Yosef will place his hand on your eyes. And Jacob got up from Be'er Sheva. And the children of Israel carried Yaakov their father, Be'et Tapam, and their children, Be'et Neshehem, and their wives, the Agalot, in carriages. The power had sent to carry him. By Kut Meknehem, and they took their cattle, Be'et Rechusham, and their possessions, Asher Rakshu Be'eretz Kanaan, that they gained possession of in the land of Canaan, by Abo Mitzrayma, and they came to Egypt. Yaakov v'chol zaro ito, Yaakov and all his children with him, Banav u'bnei Banav, his sons and his grandsons, ito with him, Bnotav u'bnot Banav, his daughters, and his female granddaughters, Vachol Zaro, and all his children, Hebi Tomat Trina, he brought with him to Egypt. So we have a number of questions about these verses. Let's turn back to verse 1 in chapter 46. Yaakov travels to Be'er Sheva. He sacrifices sacrifices to God. And to which God? We were told that he sacrifices sacrifices to the God of his father Yitzchak. So there's a number of questions about this verse. Number one, why does Yaakov travel to Be'er Sheba? Number two, why does he bring up these sacrifices to God? Number three, why are we told that he brings the sacrifices to the God of his father Yitzchak? And not the God of his father's, Ab, you know, Yitzchak and his grandfather Abraham, or just the God of his forefathers? Why specifically the God of his father Yitzchak? Let's look at Rashi and see what he says. We're in verse 1, the second Rashi, Le'okei Aviv Yitzchak, to the God of his father Yitzchak. Chayat Adam v'chod Aviv yoter mechod z'keno. Man is obligated to honor his father more than he is on, obligated to honor his grandfather. L'fichach talad v'yitzchak lov Abraham. Therefore, it's, it, it refers to Yitzchak and not to Abraham. What Rashi is saying is the reason the Torah tells us that Yaakov brought a sacrifice to the God of his father Yitzchak and not to the God of his ancestors Yitzchak and Abraham is because one is, has a greater obligation to honor one's father than to honor one's grandfather and therefore it only mentions the grandfather, excuse me, only mentions the father. Now there are a number of, number of difficulties with this Rashi and Ramban lists them. He says, I don't understand. Why does Rashi seem, and Rashi, by the way, is just quoting the Midrash. He's, I'll read to you Rashi, other Rabbanan side, verse 1. This is not enough for me. 
It would have been appropriate to say that Yaakov brought a bless, brought excuse me, brought a sacrifice to his his ancestor's God without specifically naming an ancestor, whether it's Yitzhak or Abraham. We Yaakov himself later on speaks about God. He says, The God of my forefathers, my ancestors went before, Abraham and Yitzhak. There he calls on his ancestors and he mentions both names, Abraham and Yitzhak. So why here does Yaakov only say, or does the Torah only associate Yaakov's sacrifice with the God of his father Yitzchak and not the God of his father Yitzchak and his grandfather Abraham? And also earlier, when he prays to God, we're told there, Eloke, he said, Eloke Abi Abraham, Eloke Abi Yitzchak. He prayed, and these are the words Yaakov uses. To the God of my grand, of my father Abraham and the grand and the God of my father Yitzchak. So if that was good enough for Yaakov's prayer in the past to pray to God, both the God of his grandfather and father. Why here does the Torah only associate?